Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Today's video is going to be my June TBR. I have seven physical books here. I do not have the eighth one that's on my TBR just because it doesn't come out until like June 13th, I think. But uh, without further ado, let's just get right on into it. First, I have here Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare. I just finished Lady Midnight yesterday and I really loved it. Um, I think I give it a four and a half out of five stars. Pretty much anything that Cassandra Clare writes, I will read. So this is the second book to the Dark Artifices series. And I can't really go into much about this without spoiling things because there's a lot of stuff that happens in here and you hear about in here from previous books. So like there's a lot of history in here. So again, I can't say anything without spoiling it. So Cassandra Clare, Lord of Shadows. Next, I have The Crown's Fate by Evelyn Skye. This is the second book to The Crown's Game. And I don't know if this is going to be a series or if this is just a duology. I think I watched uh, Jesse the Reader's May TBR. No, it was his May book haul. And he got this book. And I could have sworn he said that this was just going to be a duology. Which, if it is, that's cool. But I read the first one last month in May and I I liked it I think I give it a four out of five stars um, it wasn't my favorite there was a lot of things that I didn't like like the way the main character talked like nobody talks like that so please stop I liked it enough that I'm definitely gonna be continuing on with this one next I have this savage song by Victoria Schwab um, and the other book that I don't have currently which it comes out June 13th, I believe, is Our Dark Duet, which is the second book to this, and that completes the duology. Anything by Victoria Schwab, I know I'm gonna like. I read her A Darker Shade of Magic, the first book in that series, and I really loved it. So I'm just, she's one of those auto-buy authors for me. So anything she writes, I'm gonna buy and I'm going to read. Um, this is about a boy and a girl. I know the boy is a monster, and I know that anytime someone like commits a sin, it creates a monster, which I think is really freaking cool. So yeah, this Savage Song, and I will also be reading Our Dark Duet this month. Next, I have When Dimple Met Rishi by Sen Sendaya Manon. Um, this just came to my house yesterday, and it's a funny story. It actually kind of pissed me off. When I got home yesterday, I knew this was going to be here. And I get home and the package is not on the front steps. And I walk in my house and right in front of my front door is a table. Um, our dining room table. And there's the box with a knife in the box. Like, I literally thought my boyfriend stabbed this book when it came in its package. So I go to pick it up and I like instantly get pissed at him because I see this knife in my book. Yeah, he opened the package and hid the book and then acted like he stabbed it. But I don't know, it made me so mad. Uh, but this is about a boy and a girl. Their parents try to set them up and he's all for it. I don't think she knows about it, but they go to a summer camp together and it's all about that yeah I don't really know much about it um, this is gonna be the only contemporary I read this month I wanted to read some more but I have this new system with my TBR where like I'll read all the new releases that come out or like if they're in a, if they're a part of the series like the second or third book in a series I'll read it if once I read all the other books so take this savage song for example our dark duet comes out this month I have not read this savage song yet so I will read this savage song then I'll read our dark duet depending on how many there are for that then I can go with one new release standalone and if I still have room in my TBR I have to go take the next books in a series that I have started but have not finished yet and then lastly I get to pick a book off my TBR shelf over here, my rainbow shelf, but I have to go in order of color. So like this month I got to choose one book and it had to be red because I'm just starting this. So it was red. Next month, if I have a chance, it'll have to be an orange book or whatever color comes next in the rainbow. And I'll just go all the way down to, I think 
big uh, gold is the last color. I'll go down to gold, and then I'll start over at the top, pick the next red book, blah -dee blah Yeah, that's how I plan on doing this, just so that I can get through some of the older books that I have on my shelf that I've had for a long time. It'll help me, like, intermix. Yeah, you know what I mean. Next is going to be The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. Um, this book is really heavy, and this was the red one that I got to choose this month. Um, and I don't really know much about it. Then I have Rebel Spring by Morgan Rhodes. This is the second book in the Fallen Kingdoms series. I read Fallen Kingdoms a couple months ago. Don't quite remember what went on in it. I know I liked it, but there's so many books running around in my brain that I have no idea. I can't even remember. Um, so this was the book I chose for the sequel that I need to catch up on. Plus it's part of, um, my series I want to finish this summer, so I thought I'd just pick that one up. And the lastly, I have Corsana by Charles Wellington II. This book was sent to me by the author in exchange for a review. Um, I don't quite remember what it's about. I read the first paragraph and I thought it sounded interesting. So yeah, I will be reading and reviewing this one this month. So thank you to the author for sending me this book. And that is my June TBR for this month. If you've read any of these books, let me know in the comments what you thought of them. Thanks for watching. Bye!